Hey there, welcome back to the channel. The frame, if you watched the last episode, we got the last couple welds on that. I still need to clean the frame up and spray it, but that's, that's where the next steps for the frame are. The tub still needs a little work. Got the back wall welded on. Now I'm gonna try to recreate this tube, frame, uh, tube rail across the, the back end. I don't have a lot of experience with this, so this is gonna be some kind of technical for me, for my experience level, because I'm gonna try to recreate the, 40, the 90 degree angle here enclosed. I'll show you from one of the other corners. So you can see how this rail is closed in at, four, at a 90 degree, I keep wanting to say 45, at a 90 degree turn here. So to do that, I need to cut a piece off my new pipe and weld on to here that sticks out a little farther so I can make that, that 45 degree cut and then do the same on the tube that's going to cross the back. So they, so they come out and meet up at 45s and are enclosed like that, uh, the other corner there. These bolts I welded on there and had a strap across when the wall wasn't there and uh, just to keep the, the rails from leaning out. So I'm going to cut those off as well. I'll get those cut off and I'll see if I can recreate this. I had them cut the back wall tall so we could try to do this wrap around. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I don't have a hot enough torch to do it and to get it all smooth I'm really gonna have to hammer it out and I don't want it to look all banged up So I might I'm trying to decide if I want to just cut it off and do some welds and seam sealer to to keep it from being sharp edged But I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that wrap. So we'll see. I'm not gonna cut it off yet We might give it a try and if it don't work then cut it. I got the two ends cut at 45s and what these are gonna be is these will get welded to the end tube. Not this long, I just left this much to have material to work with. I'm gonna weld them to the pipe that goes across at their 45s and then I will cut them off and at, I'll cut them off to a right flush and weld them to this. So the bar will be up against the back wall. Right now, obviously I've got too much material here, but like I said, that'll give me more to work with to weld them onto the bar first and then cut them off and weld them to that. So that will be next is getting the, the crossbar done. I ain't sponsored, but I gotta tell you, I just picked this up, this welding mask, or I mean uh, face mask for grinding and stuff. I was using this piece of crap. I don't know who makes this, but the mask was always falling off and it doesn't it's hard you know it just is garbage <laughs> so i saw these at work um they got these for some of the techs where i work and um i saw it and i, was, I got it for 29 dollars off of ebay or i mean uh amazon i've used it a couple times already and i absolutely love it so look into that i don't know like i said not sponsored but it's just a cool product i gotta say so far i don't think this is turning out too bad <laughs> this is gonna Sorry, this is gonna go right here basically. I'll cut it off. I'll cut it off so it'll weld up to the end of that and then go across to the far end there. But uh, yeah, that's kind of sketchy camera work. Sorry about that. But uh, here's the first one welded on. So I gotta get the other end welded on and then start looking at see where we're gonna have to cut these off at All right, so here's the first end I don't think that's turning out too bad so far I'll uh, have to you know, cut it off flush here and then weld it onto the end of this this one but so far I gotta say I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out so far like I said I don't have much experience with welding and fabricating so it's a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. But yeah, that's my first corner. I think that's not turning out too bad, so I'm gonna work on the other end. So I didn't have a piece of steel long enough, so I'm doing a butt weld and extending it a couple, two to three inches here. Um, as long as the uh, the inside measurement of the pipe going off this side 
The inside measurement's got to be 49 inches, and I've got it right there. So I tack welded this. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish welding this around, and then we'll we'll uh, grind that weld to to try to. Hopefully, you won't be able to tell that joint's there when I'm done. We'll see. Wrong gloves. All right, well, it's getting dinner time. I didn't get quite as far as I thought I would today, but things just take time. And um, we did have some friends stop by that I hadn't seen in quite a while. So I did take a break to talk to my buddy for a while. Um, but, uh, so that was nice to see him again. Hey, Doug. <laughs> So I got this welded on and ground down. I might have to put just a little more weld and grind it again because I, there's some spots where I can still see some gap there. Not gap, but um, I can still see where the, the pipes are butted up. So I might do a little more on that before I put this end on. But uh, like I said, I didn't get quite as far as I thought I would today, but um, I'm happy with what I'm getting done. It's turning out pretty good. I've never really done any fabrication before, so for you guys who are good at this, this is probably something simple, but for beginner fabricator, <laughs> I gotta take my time and try to do this right the first time. And I'm, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight. Uh, I'm gonna go get cleaned up and take my wife out to dinner. And um, be sure to comment. I reply to every comment. Uh, click, Give us a like if you enjoyed what you're seeing and, and are enjoying this journey with me. Um, if you are, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you get notified next uh, time the video is out. So I think we're at episode 8 right now. I think this is episode 8. So it's been a good time. I'm really enjoying this. And um, hope you are too. So thanks for watching.